overflows. Mind is wave-like and serenity is this absence. Waves arise on the surface of the ocean, so too mind arises on the surface of inner ocean or consciousness. When there is turbulence within, mind arises as one of the myriad waves and thus continues this process, aggregate of this process is the nature of your life. Zindagi ke samandar mein utha tha ek din lehrun sa. One day I rose in the ocean of life like as one of the myriad waves. Zindagi ke samandar mein utha tha ek din lehrun sa. One day I rose in the ocean of life like one of the myriad waves. Mit aad chala sagar ki gehrai mein. Today I dissolved in the vastness of the ocean, vastness of the ocean of consciousness. Now there is tranquility, there is serenity in every circumstance and situation. What happened then? As if the storms have found sure in each and every circumstance and situation. Tufano ko jaise sahil mil gaya, sahil means sure. Har reh guzar me in every circumstance and situation. One day on the surface of life's ocean, I rose as one of the myriad waves. This is the story of each one of us, you and I. Everyone rises, comes into existence as one of the waves on the surface of the ocean of life. As life rises, what really rises and takes birth is your mind. And then when the process of transformation continues, this mind, this wave-like mind that waves as well as moves in a straight line, its movement is very erratic, just as that of an atom about which Albert said, what can I do? It behaves in a very strange manner. Sometimes the movement of the atom is wave-like, other times it is a straight line. So too is the nature of the mind. Mind moves as a wave and as a straight line as well. And when this mind dissolves in the vastness of the ocean of life or consciousness, then there remains tranquility. The waves have disappeared because disappearance of the waves on the surface of the ocean is serenity. Waves, just as waves arise on the surface of the ocean, if you ask me what happens to the waves when ocean is silent, there is no turbulence. The turbulence in the ocean happens because of the gravitational force of the moon. That's why during the full moon night, there are high tides. During the moments, the, because of the gravitational pull of the moon, more waves arise on the surface of the ocean. And moon, the various phases of the moon symbolizes the human mind. If you ask, just as waves arise on the surface of ocean, if you ask me, what happens to the waves when ocean is, the turbulence is no more, ocean is calm. What is the state of waves? What you will see? We will say when the ocean is silent, there is no waves. There is no question of the state or the condition of the waves then when ocean is silent. Waves 
are the phenomena of the turbulence of the ocean. Really, waves and waves and turbulence are synonym. Waves and turbulence are synonym. And the silence or serenity is absence of this wave-like mind. When mind disappears, dissolves, it does not disappear, it dissolves in the vastness of the ocean. Then ocean is turbulent, ocean is silent. That is why the poet says, Ragai e khamushi si har now there is tranquility, there is serenity in every circumstance and situation that comes into the life. Mind is turbulence, mind is wave. When silence is there, where does waves go? Where does wave-like thought process goes? It dissolves. Mind vanishes, mind dissolves, only ocean remains, an oceanic presence remains. That oceanic presence is Buddha-like, is Buddha's, is awakening. And then only the soul, the beingness remains, God remains. On the ocean of the being, on the ocean of awakening, on the ocean of Paramatma God, on the ocean of consciousness, the whatever waves are, we are identified with those. Each and every we we identify with it, with it, but. This is the situation in life. Each circumstance and situation comes, arises on the surface of consciousness as a wave. We identify with that. As a result, there is turbulence, there is agony, there is pain. And when you are not identified with it, and there is a feeling that I am, Ragaye Khamushisi Harmojmi when mind dissolves, then waves too dissolve and there remains tranquility. There remains a single feeling that I am. And this is, there is one turbulent state of the mind, which is some total or aggregate of waves. When waves dissolve, you will not remain as it is. And each wave represents one of your identity, ego, nafs. When mind is no more, then what remains? Only God remains. There remains a constant chetana, consciousness remains. And there remains the ocean of consciousness. Rangaye khamoshi si harmojme. That khamoshi is your consciousness. That serenity is your consciousness. That serenity is your awakening. That serenity is your Buddha nature that you are. But it exists in the seed form. Your seed has not yet been a begun. Seed has not yet begun the process of transformation. Raigaye khamoshi si me. Tufano ko jaise sahil mil gaya rahe ko sarmi. As if every wave that is arising on the surface of the life's ocean has got a show. Every wave is a show. Is a show. It reminds you. Each wave says, I am. When the waves attain to the show, the wave realizes each circumstance in under each circumstance and situation you realize I am Aham Brahmasmi 
I am that I am. Tatthomasi. Whatsoever phrase, sentence you use, Vedas have five important sentences. Am Brahmasmi, Tatthomasi, and so on. There is no state of mind. And that state is known as serenity, silence, oneness. When silence is there, serenity is there, mind is dissolved in that. Mind is your conditioning, it has been given to you. You are not born with the mind. You are born as a seed. The body comes into existence, mind you develop as you continue your journey in the ocean of life. And as you traverse along life's roads, it each circumstance and situation as a way mind comes into existence. Mind is your identity. Mind is your conditioning, mind is your thought process. Mirza Ghalib says, Aate hain ye mazami khayal mein rap se, because he has attained to that state where he is connected to the cosmic Wi Fi, the cosmic womb. Khayal mein rap. Aate hain ye mazami khayal mein rap se. Ghalib nabai sharoz sharir khama hai. What is this sound? That it is the sound of the, when pe pen moves on the paper, there is a sound. Ghalib says that this sound is the sound of that angel that speaks through me. That angel speaks through me. This is how the life's journey begins. This is the story of you and I. Zindagi ke samandar mein utha tha ek din lehrosa. This is your story. One day you rose on the surface of the ocean as one of the myriad waves. As the journey continues, journey continues along the inward path. Now what has remained? Rahgai remained. A a silence, a serenity-like presence. Imagine the significance of this. Ragai Khamoshisi. There remains a dancing serenity, a dancing silence in every circumstance and situation. You are disturbed when the circumstances and situation come. Ragai Khamoshisi Harmojmi. What, how, what is the feeling then? Tufano ko jase sahil mil gaya har rahe me. As if the storms that arise on the surface of the ocean have got a shore in every circumstance and situation. Every circumstance and situation that comes that in your life on a day-to-day -day basis leads you to that shore. That shore which is your consciousness, that shore which is God, that shore which is your real presence.